When we cough, our body is attempting to clear the airways, bronchi, and lungs. By clear, we mean removing microbes and mucus from the airway passages. The first and most common cause of severe coughing is acute bronchitis, which occurs when the airway tubes become irritated and swollen. Most cases of bronchitis are caused by viruses, such as the common cold and flu virus, and they generally improve within two weeks. This cough typically starts as a dry cough before becoming wet with phlegm and mucus. The cough often worsens at night. In children, coughing can be severe, resembling a barking sound, especially in the early stages of bronchitis. The treatment for acute bronchitis prominently includes honey intake, which is strongly supported by evidence. Honey is recommended for children over one year of age, but not before the age of one. For a dry cough, the most evidenced over-the-counter, OTC, medications include dextromethorphan, which temporarily suppresses the brain's cough center. For a productive cough, the most effective medications are guaifenesin, which increases mucus flow and eases coughing, and relieves symptoms of a wet cough. Bromhexin and acetylcysteine, NAC, break down mucus, making it easier to expectorate. Ambroxyl is another commonly used mucolytic agent. The second most common cause of cough is pneumonia, which means lung infection and inflammation. Pneumonia can be very serious and life-threatening, especially for people over 65 and young children. It can be caused by both viruses and bacteria, often starting as a viral infection and continuing as bacterial pneumonia. Symptoms include cough, usually with phlegm and mucus, which may be green, yellow, or bloody, sweating, shaking, chills, fever, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, which occurs during physical activity or at rest, and chest pain when breathing or coughing. Treatment depends on the causative agent, if bacterial, antibiotics are used. For community-acquired pneumonia, not in a hospital, empirical treatment includes broad-spectrum antibiotics like azithromycin or doxycycline, or a combination of amoxicillin and clavulinate. In cases of viral pneumonia, antiviral medications are sometimes used, though often only supportive care is necessary. The third most common cause of severe cough is pertussis, or whooping cough, a bacterial infection causing severe cough attacks. Initially, pertussis presents with symptoms of a common cold, such as runny nose, mild fever, and sore throat, lasting about one week. This is followed by the paroxysmal stage, characterized by severe coughing episodes that may end with a high-pitched whoop sound upon taking a breath. The cough, severe and usually dry, can cause exhaustion or vomiting and worsens at night. The disease typically lasts about a month, though the cough may persist or return with other viral infections. The primary treatment is antibiotics like macrolides, azithromycin, erythromycin, or clarithromycin. Standard cough medications often do not affect this cough. Inhaled bronchodilators and corticosteroids are sometimes used for significant bronchospasm or wheezing. Pertussis is more common among unvaccinated individuals, though it can also occur in those whose vaccine efficacy has waned. Following infection, immunity from reinfection is long-lasting but not lifelong. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPT, is another significant cause of chronic cough, particularly in individuals with a long history of smoking, usually older adults. COPT is an irreversible condition, but its progression can be slowed. The cough in COPT is chronic, lasting at least three months of the year, and is productive, with sputum and phlegm forming, especially intense in the morning. Treatment includes short-acting and long-acting bronchodilators, for example, salbutamol, short-acting, and salmetrol, long-acting. Long-acting beta agonists, LABAs, are used for long-term symptom control, typically in combination with inhaled corticosteroids, such as beclomethasone, budesonide, and fluticasone. The fifth most common cause of severe, especially chronic, cough is asthma, characterized by transient narrowing and inflammation of the airways. Asthmatic cough often worsens at night or in the early morning and may interfere with sleep. 
It is highly associated with allergens, irritants, smoke, pollution, cold air or exercise as well.